Well, hello, fellow YouTube survivors. This is Phoenix back with another episode of Ark Survival on the Season Gamers server. Yes, there is a big fuzzy dangerous thing sitting behind me. Uh, we just knocked him out. Uh, me and Valerie here were uh, flying around. I just got done doing, you know, we got on, got our meat and everything, feeding our animals, all that stuff. I'm doing a little fly around to look, and he was right up the beach from our ba our boat, which is right down there. Of course, our house is right up there, and there he was. Um, so, yeah, uh, all right, so if you watched my last episode, you know that uh, we were around the 70 lat, 70 longitude mark, somewhere around there. That's, that's basically where our, our base was. Um, well, see, okay, we had a little issue. We realized that or I realized that no one was going to be on my, in my tribe because I was all by myself and blah, 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 whatever, long story short. So we kind of condensed some things. Um, we merged some tribes and stuff, and I think right now there stands at two separate tribes, I believe. Uh, I am in the, uh, what do you call, oh, that's the wrong button. Not what I was trying to hit. What is our tribe name? The Cell Swords. I, I'm not sure exactly. I think he was trying to make some mock-up of Spell Swords. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, anyway, I didn't actually ask him that. I should probably ask him that for the video. However, um, because of that, we decided to move a little closer to him because he is in the upper left-hand corner on the North Snower Mountain area. Um, so I decided that I found this nice little area here that's similar to what I had before, but a little bit better because it has this water cove. And you can't see it from here, but we actually have it gated off there at the beginning. It's just not loading in. Um... Oh, you're hot. I'm waiting for this guy to tame up. He is so close to being tamed. I mean, like, one or two more eats and he'll be done. I think two, though, because it's not been hit much. Let's see. He eats at the fifty at the 33.50 mark, so we'll see what happens here in just a second. I'm pretty sure it'll be two. two he'll have to eat twice more to, to tame. Yep, okay, cool. All right, so just so we know, we already have uh, the Dire Bear Saddle on... Valerie, and I do not need any narcotic, which has been great. Um, Valerie has been great here. Um, I don't know. We've had a lot of dinosaurs die, okay? Like, a lot of dinosaurs uh, die. I mean, honestly, I probably went through four pterodons so far. This is the last one we got. Um, she tamed out at, like, 206 or something like that. I don't remember exactly. Um, but she was a 147, I believe, whenever we tamed her, and then she tamed out at just like over 200. It, it worked out way better than I was expecting. We also got a couple new additions up there, uh, at the main base, but like I said, I want to get him done first. It's going to be a few minutes. This right here is our big man. Um, he's not like a super high level, but bears are kind of interesting. I actually had a bear yesterday I was on here doing some stuff, um, off camera, just, you know, resource gathering and whatnot, and, uh, there was an, uh, an even higher level male bear, but he was stuck on these two trees, and I didn't realize it when I was taming him, and when I tamed him, I went to take off and, you know, have him follow me to where I could get him a saddle for him, and he was stuck. Well, I tried to... Um, break the trees, and that was stupid because I ended up killing him, so I felt kind of bad about that. But he was even low level, lower level though, because I think he tamed out at like 83 or some shit. So he must have been extremely low level. That's okay though. I don't mind using a low level every once in a while, especially when you're first starting off. You can use the lower levels to get going and then get to higher levels later. Come on, big guy. Almost there. Alright, here we go. Here we go. You ready, guys? For the excitement. Boom! This will be Fuzzy Wuzzy. Oh, he's kind of cool looking, actually. Bam. Here we go. Whoa! Now, these guys, supposedly, the faster you run, the faster they get. Oh, wow, look at that. He really does take off. Once you build up speed, they are known to be one of the fastest dinosaurs. Oh my freaking god. Wow. Okay, well just for knowledge, how does he swim in water? Oh, he's slow. Okay, that's okay though. 
And I don't think he, uh, okay, obviously not stone. What about, nope, so he doesn't harvest anything else. Um, come on, buddy. We're going to run back up to our main base there so you can kind of see what we got going on. Um, in case you don't know, well, you wouldn't know, but we have our, our our regular floating base, and then we have a flat top I use to transport our trike from the other side of the map. Dang, thing keeps getting in our way. All right, let's travel up here. Oh, right, this guy is fast when he, when he gets going. Alright, so let's look at who, who all we got here. Um, oh, I always forget. Come on. Land, Valerie. There she goes. Okay, so. We basically have a whole new set of dinos now. We just got ourselves Fuzzy Wuzzy over here. We have Valerie. Uh, we got Vladimir here yesterday. Um, he took us a while because he was like 115 or something whenever we tamed him out. And then we got Slash yesterday as well. Um, he was about one... I'm not sure. He might have been like a 90-something. I'm not remember exactly. Uh, he's pretty cool though. And then this one here was a complete accident. I, I, I logged in. I was down at the boat. I hear something. I, I open up my door and this was staring at me. Um, she was like a level 80 or 85, I think, and, you know, you can see she's tamed out okay. So we got some good stuff here. We got ourselves a neat, uh, getter. Uh, he, he, I actually found out this morning, I didn't really realize, he doesn't get as much meat, he gets more hide, whereas Samantha gets more meat. Um, I haven't used him yet. And then, of course, we have our berry guy here, Vladimir, Vladimir. And then, of course, you guys all remember Vanessa. She was our high-level, uh, trike. Uh, from before we had her at the other base and then we have this base here it's not finished obviously I need to put some work into it um, I just got some storage chest and that's pretty much it um, there's going to be a second area but it's not even hardly started yet um, so that's been kind of cool um, so let's take you on a little tour real quick. I know it seems kind of weird because it seems like every episode I'm changing, but you guys got to remember there's a lot of stuff I do off camera, and this is just one of those. So you can see here we got it. Blocked. We got ourselves a uh, behemoth stone gateway, and you know we built ourselves a little walkway and stuff. It's not completely gated off yet, but it, it's you know working on it. Oh, what's going on over here? Is there a pteranodon party happening? Well, there's an all kinds of party happening. A couple of pteranodons, a trike is fighting a raptor. And I killed him. <laughs> yeah, Valerie's actually been one of the best trikes I've had so far. Oh, look at that. She leveled up. Um, Let's go ahead and... Oh, just shy of 300%. That's going to be great. So, here's basically what's going on. Uh, our territory basically extends from my base and I'm eventually going to make some walkways and stuff so that we can get to this island um, and then from this island if you look over this way there's another small island here I'm probably going to make another walkway to one of these two islands here because a stalker wants to be able to get really close to the swamp without actually having to get in it. So probably one of these two islands, or even both, will have walkways. You can see there's some titanoboas. There's actually one right there. Yeah, there's level 45 titanoboa right there going after some guys. Um, and then stalkers is, if you see that rock formation right there in front of me, he's just past that. Um, they have land base, floating bases, I mean, I, I can actually do a flyby, um, here, hold on a second, just to be safe, let's, uh, set up our, our, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, stamina, she's got pretty good stamina, but you just never know, um, so yeah, so stalker's base is up here, um, he also has Jake, um, I cannot, remember 
think it's Jake. Yeah, he he's one of the he's actually one of our our tech guys, admin guys, whatever. He doesn't play like full time or record or anything. It's more one of those things where you know he gets on for a little bit, maybe gathers some resources and excuse me, uh, had to take a drink, uh, or gather some resources, kill some dinos, tame some dinos, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I thought they were right here. Well, it normally loads in quicker than this, guys. I apologize. Okay, there it is. There it goes. All right, here we go. Now, it's a little cold here, so I can't stay for very long, but I thought we could do a quick flyby. You can see, uh, he's got a couple mammoths. Um... trike we've got this woolly rhinoceros which is amazing freaking amazing oh we've got an inklo over here too I did not know he had an inklo looks like he's got a palomino over there uh, oh oh yeah I forgot about this I actually helped him with this uh, this uh, beso uh, beso buffo guy here um, he actually brought him over on his, uh, I'm not seeing it right now, but he had, he had a really nice, decent level, um, RG. Maybe he hit it somewhere, because I don't see it. Well, they got, we, he's got more rafts than I do, but he's also starting to get into some other technology. Um, yeah, these woolly rhinoceros are really awesome, though, because they have the same ability as the bears to uh, once they get going they just keep going and get faster and faster except he also has a charge ability where he can gore um, an animal with his uh, his big horn and he can one shot Bronos or at least severely injure them even even like war Bronos you know like they're set up for you know for killing and stuff so those are kind of cool um, I would like to get me one I was originally gonna just go over there and hang out with him but I didn't have any fur armor, and the dire wolves are just, jeez, they are so disgustingly powerful. I don't even like to deal with it. So I, uh, I told Stalker I was gonna find a place a little further over this way. It's not super far away. Like I said, it's only a short flight away, even on a Tyrannodon or a RG. Um, so we can still work together and stuff. It just allows me to have a little distance and have my own thing. And this way we have another base, and it's not like it's our only base, so, you know, it'll, it'll work out really cool. It, we, we're, we're not going to do the war thing just quite yet. Um, we're giving everybody a little time to kind of get caught up, so that'll be kind of cool. Um, let's see, so now that we've got our dire bear, I would really like to take him out and play a little bit. So, now we're not going to go across to, like, um, you know... Uh, the lava island or whatever because one because I'm just not quite comfortable enough yet with any of my dinos to take them over there because that is extremely dangerous and two the other thing is simple is we've had some lag issues and from what I can understand it seems to be have something to do with the dino spawn um, just every so often every few minutes or so it'll like get a little lagged up or whatever and it'll start um, uh, It'll just like freeze the game for a second. That's when you see the fish flying and things not moving and different things like that. So it looks like we're looking at 237% melee damage. Wow, a nice amount of weight though. I love that. It's going to make him a good solid mount. Only 1100 health. 1000 stamina is not bad though. So we're going to have to work on some melee damage and some health. Oh, good. He gets mostly raw meat then. Oh, well, that was way too easy. Then we go ahead and just drop the hide. I'll be honest with you guys. We have an entire uh, w uh, large wooden chest or whatever full, full of um, sorry of hide. We just have way too much freaking hide.
this gets a little glitchy every once in a while. He can pretty much kill anything he comes up against, it looks like, so far. At least the smallest source, as far as all the little animals. Now, there was a Giga over this way, um, that I got, that's actually how I lost my last Tyranodon, was me and Stalker were taking a look at it, and long story short, we ended up with way too, we ended up way too close to him. He was only a measly, okay, little level, uh, 30, I think? But man, Nate sure did pack a, a freaking wallet, man. I forgot how powerful the Giga's are. And this is kind of how I do, like, the first 5-10 levels of my, you know, I just run around, kill some Dodos and Lysosaurs and maybe some Trikes or two, you know. Oh, these guys freaking kill quick. Um, let's go ahead and put his melee, oh, oh just shy of 200% or 500%. Let's go ahead, let's see. Drop all the hide. A good thing he's got like a high weight capacity, although I'm gonna. After I drop all this hide. Geez, he's got a lot of hide on him. There we go. And then. I don't really need all this extra meat. I'm really just doing this for levels. So this is when I go. I just drop a bunch of this meat because I don't really need it. I do know, however, that I need to take, and since he's got such a high weight damage, I may, or weight limit, I may use him. I'm going to take, I need to go up and make a metal run, um, because you guys can see I'm low on trank darts, and they don't really have a lot of bullets. So I need to go get a bunch of metal, smelt it up, and I'm going to show you guys where I've been getting my metal. It's one of the reasons I like this new house so much better than the old one. Um, geez, how much raw meat am I going to have to waste? I didn't realize I had that much. Closer. Well, I've dropped so much. It's going to be like 3,000 Roman. Look at this. Jeez. In case you're wondering why why I do that, okay, is because these things here will despawn in like a very short amount of time. Whereas if um, if you left it in his inventory, one, you're using up a lot of your weight capacity, and two. Um, he, uh, it'll just turn to raw meat, which then takes another spoilage timer. So it ends up, it, it ends up taking way longer when you do it that way, you know. Alright, so let's show you guys. Where I get my metal. So, you go past all my animals up here. Hopefully there's nothing dangerous on this side, but... I think we can sufficiently handle ourselves. Okay. Oh, he gets bears. I didn't know. Or, uh, berries. I didn't know that. Oh, I forgot. He's an omnivore. He can eat berries or meat. I, I forgot about that. See, I've just been giving him meat. Damn, Dilophosaurus is... Okay, so right up here, now you can see it goes uphill pretty tight, so it's, it's obvious that this is where the metal is, but it's more than just the metal. Um, if we go up here, go ahead and that tops us off at 250 for now. Um, okay, so if we go up this way, it's actually all over the place, but if we go up this way, you can see there's metal nodes, you know, as far as the eye can see. There's also, you can't really see see them here, so they must be at the next section. So there's another set of metal nodes up here. Obviously, you can see them. And what I'm wanting to show you, I can't find. What the hell? Okay, well, the point in what I'm... Oh. The point in what I'm trying to tell you is there is... Jeez, he was cutting down everything except for the door off There we go. Alright, there is crystal nodes up here as well. Okay, there's a few we can see. Come on! Man, this rubber band thing is really getting on my nerves. I 
just want to show you guys the freaking crystal. I mean, I don't know what's so complicated about this and why it won't, why the freaking dinos won't walk unless, or won't go unless you freaking walk, like, really slow. Anyways, you can see some crystal back there. That's what I was trying to show you. Um, now I'm doing this stupid fucking thing or, you know what, pissing me off. Yeah, we got him, no problem. There we go. Wow, using up all of his weight now, but that's okay though. What we're going to do is, we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and take some of this out of here. Because, oh, he even gets freaking like, fiber and all kinds of stuff. We're just going to go ahead and drop all the rest of this again. So much junk in my inventory right now. <laughs> Normally, I would never throw away narco berries and all this other crap, but he is not my. Well, normally I would say he's not my my berry gatherer, but dang, he's got some good amounts of berries on him. But I'm really just trying to get all this junk off of him. So that we can do a metal run. Ooh. And there's still look at all the freaking meat. Wow. I feel like I'm just playing inventory management over here right now. And that's my life texting me. Yeah, gladly you guys can't hear it. Um, it's, uh, add some health. There you go. I have a smartwatch. I have one of those smartwatches that tracks, like, your steps and all that. Excuse me. And, um, so when my wife texts me, um, uh, When my wife texts me or whatever, all all I all it does is vibrate on my wrist, so you guys don't have to hear it. It's a great ability to have your. Um, wow, I just cannot stop getting stuck on everything up here. Okay, so I believe that's the way down. Okay. I, I tend to get lost coming up here. You wouldn't think that'd be that easy to do, but it happens. Just go up to the first rock we can find. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay. You should be on neutral, because I don't want you randomly attacking people. Alright. Now, once we get, like, an RG or something, or, you know, something else for more weight, this will be a lot easier. Um, why am I not able to move? Oh, you sit. Oh. Always a damn stone. Are you serious? Wow. How about that? Of course not. And I now, because I don't really need these berries. Thank you, jeez. I have no need for the stone, so I'm literally just keeping the metal.
Can you tell I like to keep it in nice neat stacks too much because I end up wasting more time doing this than I do anything else? Uh, he holds a lot too, this is great. That's the first time I've ever actually got to clear out one whole rock. And he still gets more. Okay, so he's following me. I'm gonna walk up to this rock here. Hey, Fuzzy. How much weight does he have again? Okay, so that's about it. So we are going to grab a little bit for me to hold. Alright, cool. Now neither one of us are burdened. You can follow me home. Alright. So, um, yeah. Alright, so... We're getting close to time on this episode, so I guess now that we're pretty much completely caught up, I think, um, next episode, I, I believe, unless I find one off camera, which doesn't happen very often, so I highly doubt it, but unless I find one off camera, I believe my next goal is I want to get at least one RG, possibly two. Hey, this way, stupid. Trying to get these damn creatures to go, dinos to go through a gate is like impossible. Come on, dude. Come on. There we go, that worked. Right, now I gotta shut this damn thing. Especially this northern gate. The northern gate's the worst. I have to shut that one all the time. Hey, look at you. What level are you? 85. You barely a mouse on a wheel. <laughs> Sorry, I've been watching too much Slipgator this morning, guys. So you have to bear with me. Alright, so I may edit this episode up just a little bit because I can't entirely tell how long it is. But, what we're going to do, we're going to get him through here. What we're going to do is it's pretty much going to be the episode here. Um, so, uh, as always, make sure you guys comment below, let me know what you think of the episode, uh, hit that like button if you like what you see, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, helps you out, helps me out. This is Phoenix, y'all have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. I'm out.